Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. So long time no see? No, long time no see, ba? Okay, so um, last time is ihatagan tara mo task to view the video, the lecture videos on the descript descriptive measures. Diba? We have the measures of central tendency and we also have the measures of dispersion. No? Okay. So, to sum that up, we have three measures of central tendency. I know nga kabalo na mo on sa on siya pag solve for the mean, median, and mode. And also the measures of this person, we have the range, the standard deviation, and the um, variance, and also the coefficient of variation. So, nga nung magkuha mantag nga na. So, hmm. So, magkuha ta ana because of, naman dito sa example, no, if you view the video or gitan aw ninyo ang ato ang, um, si tawag ani, katong PDF na copy sa lecture, you can see there an example nga gi, atong gi compare si class A and si class B. So, the students in class A, ilang mga IQ and the students in class B with their IQs. So, para asa ang measures of central location. Okay, so manginahang lang taog number. Okay, ato matong compare kung which group is smarter, di ba? So, kinahang lang tag isa ka number to represent our data para dali siya i-compare with other set of data. So, katong um, gikuha na to ang mean, answer na to kung which group is smarter. Unlike katong wala pa tay gi-compute na measure of central tendency, ang ato rang gitanaw is ang highest and ang lowest niya. So, sa B is mas dako iyang highest, pero mas gamay ang iyahang lowest. Sa A pod, mas gamay iyahang highest, pero mas dako iyang lowest. So, lisod ka siya tanawon kung imong tanawon ang set of data. So, para mas dali siya i-compare, manginhang lang tag isa ka number to represent our data. So, mo nang natay measure of central location. So, for that case, atong gikompute ang iyahang ilahang mean. So, na-found out na to nga ang, ang iyahang average is kuan, ang average sa A is mas dako kaysa kang B. O na lang ipakita ang ang slides. Okay, tapos, if we have, um, nga nung na pa may median ug mode, so, nga nung na may tulog ka measures of central location. So, of course, class, um, there are sets of data. Di ba ang mean can be only computed for numerical data, no? Numerical set of data. Okay, so kung mag-compute po ta o kinahanglan maghapon tag central location for such um, kind of data katabit ang, for example, atong gikuha nga information is ang skin color. So we have light, medium, or light brown, medium brown, ano no? So kung uh, kung ano ang atong information, maglisod na kuha o mean. Kaya of course, ang, ang mean is i-add divided by pila ka buok. So, kung you have skin color, it does not make sense kung kwa ni mo ang mean. Light brown plus medium brown divided by 2 equals light medium brown. <laughs> Dili nga na na, no? So, mo nang natay median and mode. So, ang median is ang middle score man to, no? Okay, and also sa mean, di ba naman ni siya disadvantage? Ang disadvantage ani is dali na siya maapektuhan o extreme values. For example, katong na IC siblings, ano no? Kan IC sibling, ang ato ang aim para magkuhatag measure of central location is maka 
produce tag number nga maka-represent sa atong data. However, kung nay extreme values mabira ang atong mean. So for example, dire kadaghanan sa ato is na dire, pero atong mean abot dire tungod kay nabira siya sa extreme values, no? So which is ang mean is not a good representation if na kay mga extreme values. So pwede ka magamit og median or mode. Okay? So, ang mode is pwede gini siya for all, all levels of measurement. Pwede skin color or kaha, um, shoe size or kuan. Bisa dun sa, pwede ni siya ang mode. Okay, however, ang mode is ihap mong nagin niya ang pinaka, ano, pinakalaghan. Okay, naapoy yung mga set of data nga walay mode, kadong walay most frequent occurring value. So, kung kadumdum mo sa inyong quiz, si plantita A has no mode, si plantita B has a mode man siguro. Okay, so sa measures of dispersion, ako lang i paran through lang po, since ako naman yung gi, gihatag sa inyo last time, last meeting. So, ang measures of dispersion, kung, kadum kung kadumdum mo sa example, like this one, we have two running for valedictorian. They have the same average. So, unsa saan may nato pag-decide pag no? sa kinsa agyod ang valedictorian. So, ang measures of dispersion is uh, kung mas gamay mong measure of dispersion, mas consistent ka as student. So, we have the range, the standard deviation, the variance, and the coefficient of variation. Okay. So, ang range is just the highest and the lowest ng value. So, sa range pa lang daan, you have 96 minus 90, that is 6. The is 98 minus 87, or 99 minus 87, that's 12. So, the ria pa lang daan, sa range pa lang daan is um, daog na si student A. Okay, so ang disadvantage lang po sa ato ang range is ang iyahang gitan out is extreme values lang, ang highest o ang lowest. So this is um maapektuhan kay siya if we have extreme values. Again, kay extreme values naman yung kinahanglan, di ba? Pinakataas, or I mean ang highest o lowest value naman, naman iyahang kuan, iyahang kuhaon. So, kung naka-extreme values, dali ra makuha ang uh, maapektuhan ang range. Tapos, dili niya matake into account ang all values nga nasa imuhang data. So, maunang natay standard deviation. Ang standard deviation is the deviations sa mean sa imuhang mga data values or unsa kalayo or unsa kakatag imuhang data. So, kung mas dako imong standard deviation, mas less reliable imong mean. So, kung mas dako yung standard deviation, dili nindot ang mean to represent your data. So, kung mas gamay yung standard deviation, mas dool sa zero, mas reliable ang imong mean to represent your data. Okay, so, pag-compute, ang kalahian tuod sa pag-compute sa population and sample, ang population is over n lang, ang sample is n minus 1. Take note ta class, Ana sa example we have sampling a population meaning nag sample ra siya. So this one is a sample. Okay and paman. I hope nag tan-aw gitan og gid sa yung assignment ha. Okay so ang kalainan lang ang variance is just the square of the standard deviation. So ang standard deviation ay square root ang variance wala square root. The same process lang gihapon ang pag solve. Okay, for this one, ang inyong gamiton ani, kining quick test bitaw. Kay ang gigamit ani is sample because ni ana man siya nga for the last 5 games, meaning dili ni siya tanan. Ang last 5 games ra ni siya aning 2020 NBA playoffs. So last 5 games so pasabot na pay games before ani, no? So wala ang sample pod iya ang gigamit. So, na ba may questions about the descriptive measures? Ato inyo hang gitan ang nga video last time. Okay, ato na ning i... Ako lang tong run through lang to hack. I since I have given you time to watch the video and also answer the assessment. And as...
as of the moment, ang inyo hang, ang nag-answer good is 44 out of 50 lang. Ano man? Taas ba ang hong time ihatag? Taman ba? Ah, ano sa at taman? Hindi. So, ang unit descriptive measures is taman atong 18. Uh, within the day, rato akong gingon siguro, no? Within the day. So, nga nung wala man ka-answer. Okay. So, most of you is napagin na ito attempts yata akong gihatag. Tapos, okay. So, okay man po noon inyuhang mga scores na ay naka-perfect. Okay. So, padayon na ito sa itong new lesson since I think wala na may question, no? Okay, so this will be the last last two topics na lang. And ang kining duha ka topics is related lang. So I will discuss it to you today. Ang duha. So pasabot mo human at akaroon. Okay. So if um, okay in hang senior high school or nag-answer mo sa module, you have um, sa grade 11 manino the statistics and probability niabot kung niabot mo sa regression correlation analysis mauragin ni siya kay introduction naman po to okay we have introduction to regression analysis okay so it, ang statistics has two major areas or categories we have the descriptive and inferential statistics okay ang descriptive this is kanang mga summary calculations tabular and graphical displays and describing important features of a set of data. So, describe lang din siya. Wala siya attempt to infer or to um, to to any, conclude or to predict. Wala siya intent to predict future values or um, future scenarios. No? Okay, ang inferential is concerned with making generalizations for bigger group of observations based on information gathered from a smaller group. Okay. So, yung ano, no, na asya'y uh, na uh, concern in making generalizations. So, na asya'y ka ng um, intent uh, inferential, pasabot, nag-infer ka, nag-predict based sa imuhang nag-gather nga information. Predict for future values. Okay, so in different fields of study, the major objective of many statistical investigations is to establish relationship among variables. So, maugin na establish na ito ang relationships between variables. So, unsa sa kahay, if a uh, relationship aning um akong time sa pag-study sa akong score or kung mas taas ba akong score uh, akong time nga nag-study mas dako ba akong score ngayon ana example so an established relationship can be used to predict one variable in terms of one or more variable so kay ko ano man tano ka nang sa to gani um, introduction lang man ta. So, ang atong ipakita lang or ato ang itako lang is two variables lang. So, one independent and one dependent variable. So, for instance, studies are made to predict sales from advertising cost and product packaging. So, yahanggi tanaw ang relationship between the product packaging and the sales from advertising cost. Okay, or kaha determine students' final grade in terms of the number of hours spent in studying for the final examination. Pwede ka na. So, this scheme is of investigation is referred as the regression analysis. Okay, so basically, regression analysis is a statistical method that makes use of the relationship between two or more quantitative variables so that one variable called the dependent variable or response variable, we usually denote it by Y, can be explained with the, the knowledge of the values of the other value variable called the independent variable or the explanatory variable or we usually represent this as x no independent and dependent ang independent is the explanatory variable ang dependent is the response variable 
So these are the main two re uh, two main reasons in conducting regression analysis. First is atong i-determine ang relationship between two or more variables. So atong tanawon if mag-increase ba ang isa, mag-increase po ba po, po da ang isa, no? Or and to predict values of dependent variable from known value, values of the independent variable. So atong i-predict ang value sa y in terms of uh, I mean, given the value of x. So, so ang regression analysis is just like, uh, uh, I mean, ang regression model ng atong pangitaon is just like a machine. So, ang machine nato ang regression model, kung mag-input ta og value sa atong independent variable, makagawas mo agi sa regression model, ang atong makuha is the, ang output, which is the dependent variable y or the value of the dependent variable y. So again, we should know. So regression analysis, atong tanawon kung unsa relationship. So at first, pwede nato tanawon ang scatter plot. So sa scatter plot palang daan, makita nato ang trends atong data. Or for example, kani, no? As you can see, mrosag musaka, no? So increasing. So, magataas ang x, mutaas pa ang y. Or, munaog, pana, paubos. So, magataas ang x, magkaubos ang y, decreasing. Or, wala siya, or, wala siya, ano no, wala siya, trend. For this one, dili na ito matanaw kung unsa ihang trend. Kaya murag, kuan kay siya, gubot kay siya. Wala siya pattern. Linear pattern. Okay, so as mentioned in regression analysis, you want to find a model or the best fit line that will be used for prediction that is in the form y is equal to ax uh, a plus bx. Okay, so ang model nato dere is an equation of a line. Okay, ang regression model is the best fit line. So pasabot line na siya to predict. Mo na siya tong tuan ato ang gamiton to predict future values or values of the dependent variable given the independent variable or the value of the independent variable. So, kung makuha ni nato, mo ni siya ang atong regression line. Kana y is equal to a plus bx. Okay, so, na ito pagkuha, ma'am? Okay, so, again, no, si y, that is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable, a is any constant, b is the coefficient of x. So, atong, we have a formula for, for estimating a and b. We have, ang a is equal to the average of the y values minus b times the average of the x values. And ang b is just n. This is the number of data values times summation of x times y minus summation of x times summation of y over n times summation of x squared minus summation of x quantity squared. So take note of this class. Kay dili na siya ihatag sa exam. So dapat i-memorize ginini niyo. So ang a is just equal to the average of y minus b times average of x. While ang b is n times summation of x times y minus summation of x times summation of y all over n times summation of x squared minus summation of x quantity squared. Okay? Kana. So, kung makuha na na ninyo, inyo na dahil nang isubstitute sa ato ang equation, we have y is equal to a plus bx. So, mo na dahil nang ato ang um, least square line or the best fit line. Okay, so for example, we have this ordered pairs. Okay, so kung ordered pair, ang pinakauna nga number, di ba, mauna siya ang x, mauna siya ang y. Okay, maupun na siya ang x, dili, maupun na siya ang y. So, and so on. No? So, so ang first number is x, ang, ang second number is y. So, ang atong buhatan daw, we will draw a scatter plot. So, sa na pag-draw a scatter plot, all we have to do is plot the points in the x-y plane. So, ang first quadrant lang ato ipakita, no? 
Okay, for ang um, xy plane. Tapos, find the least square line. Ato nang isolve katong y is equal to a plus bx. Okay, then, i-predict na ang values of y given x, which is 2.8. Okay, so to solve that, first is mag ano ta, i-organize na nato ang atong data in columns. So, mo na siyang x, mo na siyang y. Gika na siya diri. Moning x, moning y, x, y, x, y. So, ato lang siyang i-column. Unya, base sa ato ang, ato ang formula, kinahang lang tag x times y, tapos x squared. No? So, mo nang, sa atong, atong gihing mo nga column, ato dahing i-multiply, kikinahang lang matag x times y. So, 2.5 times 3.4, that's 8.5. 3 times 4.9, that is 14.70. 3.3 times 5.5, that is 18.15. And so on. No? Tapos, we have x squared. Kinahang lang na itong x squared. So, 2.5 squared, or that is 2.5 times 2.5, that is 6.25. 3 squared, or that is 3 times 3, that is 9. 3.3 squared or 3.3 times 3.3, that is 10.89, and so on. Yeah, later on, sa correlation analysis, kinahanglan po nato ang y squared. So, kana pong y squared, g-square na niya ang mga value sa y. Okay, then, sa itong formula is, atong kinahanglan is summation. Okay, summation means atong itotal. Okay, so itotal nato na sila, we have summation of x is 28.8. Summation of y is 52.1. Summation of x times y, that is 195.86, and so on. Okay, kana. So, ready na ta to solve our A and B. But before that, ang iyang ipangayo sa ato first is ang scatter plot. So, ato siyang i-plot. So, you have 2.5 og 3.4. So, dera siguro. Then, we have 3 og 4 point something. No? And so on. So, muna na siya itong scatter plot. As you can see, sa itong scatter plot, yung trend murag increasing. No? So, increasing siya. Okay. So, now let us find the least square line. So, para, di ba si A ang iyang kinahanglan nga, nga data is x bar. So, Average ni x, average ni y, and b. So, una kong ginatog solve si b. So, this is the formula sa b. Tapos, ang n na to kay 8. Kay 8 mo to ordered pairs, no? So, ka na. I-substitute rin na to, to atong nakuha sa ato ang table. Itong sa column. Then, our b is 2.73. Okay, si a is kinahanglan niya ang, ang average sa x o sa y. So, summation of x divided by 8, kay 8 man kabuok, no? And summation of y divided by 8, kay 8 man pud kabuok. So, pareha na class sa 1, 8 times 28.8. Pareha rin as 28.8 divided by 8, that is 3.6. And kinipod, we have 52.1 divided by 8, that is 6.51. So, naan na itong kinahanglan sa ato ang pag-solve sa A. Di ba ang A is just equal to y bar minus b times x bar. Kaya ang y bar na to is um, 6.51 minus ang b is 2.73 times ang x bar is 3.6. So, the answer is negative 3.32. Okay, by the way, sa, during sa long quizzes and exam, you can use your calculators but not your cell phone. So, before ta mag long quiz pohon, uh, mag ulam na muda ano calculator. Okay? Okay, so, ang Y, na naman tay A, no? And ang atong B is 2.73. Ang atong A is negative 0.32. Okay, so ang ato na dahil nang isubstitute sa atong y is equal to a plus bx. 
So, you have y is equal to a plus bx. So, kani siya, mauna ni siya atong best fit line. Mauna na akong ipangayo sa letter B. Or the least square line or the best fit line. Again, kung mangayo ko kung sa least square line, that is just an equation of a line. Or the best fit line. Okay, muna na siya, ha? So, ang interpretation, ani. Okay, pag ang B na to is positive, meaning greater than zero, na siya ay positive nga relationship. Pag positive ang B, again, class, ang atong B, ang atong basihan. Pag positive siya, pasabot na siya ay positive nga relationship. C, X, and C, Y. Okay, so muna siya yung, yung interpretation. This model shows that X has a positive effect on Y. Again, positive ang effect ni X on Y, kaya ang atong B, which is the slope of our uh, equation, di ba ang slope kay AX plus, uh, MX plus B. So, meaning ang coefficient ni X, which is the slope. Kung positive na, na si X has a positive effect on Y. Okay, so kana siya. You have on na siya tong least, least square line na, or we can say also that if everything else is constant, a unit increase in x gives 2.73 in, increase in the value of y. So, na na siya pag-interpret class. So, nod, ang atong buhaton, inangayo mo to siya no, kung unsa daw ang value kaha ni y, kung ang x na to is 2.8. So, Mo man siya tong least square line, substituting 2.8 for x, kay kung pila daw ang y kung ang x is 2.8. So, all we have to do is substitute running value ni 2.8 kang y. So, you have y is equal to, substitute na to, you have negative 3.32 plus 2.73 times 2.8. So, that is 4.32. So, pasabot class, kung ang atong x daw is 2.8, so, ang possible nga value ni y is 4.32. Siguro na na siya, nag-predict siya future values. Given ang atong regression model or the best fit line or the least square line. So, muna siya again ang atong regression model. This is used to predict future values. For example, kiniwa, mantay 2.8 sa ato ang ordered pair, no? So, unsa ka ang value ni y kung natay 2.8 ni x? So, muna dahil na 4.32. Sabtan. Sabtan, class. Questions. Verifications. Um, I have a question, ma'am. Yes, please. Unsa man. Yes, ma'am. Uh, regarding ganit sa quiz, ma'am, you mentioned earlier nga maghulam na may calculator. That means po nga among quiz kay in person? Yes. Yes, langga. Mag-announce ko after sa lesson na to karon. Okay. So, we will have um, 10 minutes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. So, before tamo proceed to correlation analysis. So, I will end this meeting. If wala na question about regression analysis, wala na ba? Okay, so I will end this meeting tapos balik mo by 11, 12. So we will have a short break before tamo proceed sa correlation analysis. Okay? Okay na ba? Okay, okay na. Okay, so balik ta at 11, 12. Okay? Bye. Okay, so good morning again. Good morning again, everyone. Okay, so atong ipadayon atong lesson. So we have correlation analysis. So this is maguban uh, gini sila correlation and regression analysis. Okay. Okay, correlation analysis, di ba? Ganina is nag-establish ta relationship nila. So, nangita tag model. 
na makarepresent sa ilahang relationship, no? Okay, so, natay um, estimate ta or mupredict ta of future values using the regression model or the least square line or the best fit line. Okay, however, sa regression analysis, dili niya measure ang strength sa iyang relationship. Pwede mang good nga mag-predict lagi ta, pero dili na ito siya dool sa real value or dili uh, dili siya accurate tungod kay ang relationship na niya kay possible nga dili strong. No? So, basin weak ang iyahang relationship tapos na predict ta. So, kung strong iyang relationship between sa duha ka variable is nindot atong regression line to predict future values. So, again, sa regression is wala niya measure ang strength and even the direction of the relationship between the independent and dependent variable. Pero sa regression, mabala na to kung ang direction tungod sa value sa B. Pag ang B is positive, pasabot, uh, positive ang iyahang relationship, meaning magkataas ang X, mutaas po ang Y. However, again, wala niya measure ang strength sa relationship between the two variables. So, mauna siya ang correlation analysis. So, this measures the strength and even the direction of the relationship between two variables. So, again, this can be measured using correlation analysis. So, sa regression, nag-establish lang taog ilahang relationship. Okay, so, ang correlation analysis is atong gimeasure ang strength sa relationship between the two variables. So, to measure the strength of the relation between two random variables, ang atong gamiton is by a mean, uh, by means of a single number called the correlation coefficient. So, we have Pearson correlation co coefficient, Pearson, that is apelido sa uh, author ani or nag mo aning formula. Okay, so we have Pearson correlation coefficient. Rho measures the strength of the relationship between two variables x and y. So this can be estimated by sample correlation coefficient denoted by r. So kining r, mo ni siyang ato ang i-compute dere. So kining r is ang iyahang formula is this one. Mamlisod na na memorize so na pagay ito A and B gain na. Nya karo na na po yung R nga dag taas kayo. So para dali memorize so ang kanang formula sa R, pwede na ito i himoon o ang R is just equal to SXY over square root of SXX times SYY. So kana siya where ang SXX is just equal to the summation of X squared minus summation of x quantity squared over n. And we have ang x, s, y, y is alis din lang natin mo guay, no? Summation of y squared minus summation of y quantity squared over n, where n is your number of data values. And ang s, x, y is just equal to the summation of x times y minus summation of x times summation of y over n. So, kana na, ra, imuhang kwa on. Then, substitute na dahil natin mo dira a. So, mas dali siya memorize on compare daning taas kayo. Pero pwede na gahapon kayo inyong, inyong gamiton kung ganahan mo. May problema yun. Okay, so remarks. Ang Pearson correlation coefficient are ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. So, kung mulapas na taog 1, inyong pag-compute, pasabot ana sa yup inyong computation. Ang argued ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. So, kung muabot nag negative 1.6 or 2, nahi mo positive 2 or negative 3, ana, sayop na inyong computation. Ang R ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. So, kung imong R is close to positive 1, so this indicates a positively high linear relationship between two variables X and Y. So, pasabot, kung may kag-positive nga relationship, if the value of Y increases, then the value of X also increases. So, pag-dool siya kang 1. 
So, pag imuhang R is dool po kang negative 1, so this indicates negatively high linear relationship between the sample values. So, meaning strong ang iyahang relationship. Negative lang. So, pasabot sa negative, kung mag-decrease si y, si x nag-increase. Ganina, kung positive, si y nag-increase, si x po mag-increase. Dari ah, kung negative ang iyahang r, you have si y mag-decrease as the value of x increases. So, mag-decrease ang isa, mag-increase ang the other one. Okay, kung ang r ni mo is 0, pasabot an na there is a lack of linearity or kung dool siya sa 0, pasabot weak ang iyahang linear relationship. So, there is lack of linearity. So, when you say linear relationship, di ba ang when you say linear, that is a line. So, pasabot ang relationship sa duha, dili nindot ang line to represent the relationship between these two variables. So, pasabot uh, dili linear. So, pasabot basin uh, I mean, dili linear ang ilahang relationship. So, pero dili pasabot nga wala na siya relationship at all. Pwede nga na, ah, dili lang siya linear. So, muna yung gibutang dira, not, that note that this doesn't mean that they are not associated at all. So, kung linear relationship lang ato ang basihan, kung maduol gani ang R sa zero, pasabot wala siya linear relationship or there is lack of linearity. So, ang R is used to measure the strength and direction of linear relationship between two quantitative variables. So, strength, pasabot high or strong ba yung linear relationship or weak ba? So, strong kung dool sa 1 o sa negative 1. Pag dool sa 0, weak na siya ng relationship. So, basin inyong mga relationship, dool na sa 0. Pagbulag na mo. Charot. <laughs> Okay, so, balik ta sa lesson. So, mo ni siya ang ato ang basis kung unsa atong itawag sa iyan, no? So, kung mo fall between the ring range, that is weak linear relationship. Pasabot, ana, in between to 0 to negative 0 0.25 or 0 to 0 0.25 na tay weak linear relationship. Pag ang ato ang value is uh, less than or equal kang negative 0 0.25 but greater than negative 0 0.5 that is fair degree of linear relationship pasabot anang bracket class included pasabot appeal si 0 0.25 pag gani gani walay labot si 0 0.25 diri a appeal si 0 0.25 diri a siya na belong 0 0.25 padulong kang 0 0.50 i mean less than kang 0 0.50 so there is a fair degree to of linear relationship so kung negative negative fair degree of linear relationship pag positive pod we have positive fair degree of linear relationship the same here and this one okay so kung mo fall gani dere 0 0.75 to 1 there is a positively strong linear or positive strong linear relationship or kaha kung dere, we have a negative strong linear relationship. So, muna yung may interpretation. So, if we use katong ato ang scatter plot and atong ibutang atong best fit line, if our best fit line Ang tanan points ni sulod sa atong best fit line, ang R na to is equal to 1. Pag nasulod tanan siya sa ato ang best fit line. So, pag imuhang best fit line, tapos mo na imong mga points, dool ra siya sa best fit line, dako gihapon na imong R. And kini, mas layo siya compared dere. Mo nang mas gamay ang R ani compared ani. So, positive ang relationship ani kay increasing man. Kay magka-increase ang X, mag-increase ang Y increasing so increasing kini siya perfect positive correlation can equal siya kang 1 the the strong positive correlation kay um ang iyang r is 0 0.8 no tapos dool ra siya sa best fit line kini na, na kay positive correlation increasing man siya tapos dool pud siya so this is ang 0 0.6 is ah, na siya na belong 
moderate to good linear relationship. So, kana. Moderate to good linear relationship. Positive siya, kay positive man atong R, meaning increasing silang duha. May increase ang X, may increase po ang Y. No? So, kini, these two examples is an example of negative ang iyahang R. So, as you can see, ang iyahang trend po is magkadako ang Y, magkagamay ang X. No? Na. Or magkadako ang X, magkagamay ang Y. Okay, dari a ah, mas dugul gid siya sa best fit line no. So as you can see dari layo. Mas duol siya. So ang iyahang R pod mas duol siya kang negative 1. So there is a strong negative correlation. So R is approximately negative 0.9. And kini siya layo-layo gamay sa best fit line pero makita nimo ang trend nga decreasing gyapon siya, no? Negative correlation. So, ang R is approximately negative 0.5. Kini siya, wala gid siya trend na to makita. Dili increasing, dili decreasing. So, pag tanaw na to, so there is no or little or no linear correlation. Or R is approximately 0 or dool na kaini siya sa 0 ang R ani. So, ang pasab possible nga mabuhatan ang best fit line is horizontal or kanang anak Okay. So, let's have an example. The same example rani ganina sa regression analysis. So, ato dong kwa on is i-draw na tong scatter plot then solve for the correlation coefficient and interpret da yun. So, kabalo naman mo no, atong i-organize sa column atong kwaon ang x times y, ang x squared and y squared. Tapos ato da yung kwaon ang summation. Okay. So, mo ragagaya po na ganina. Okay. x times y mo na. x squared. So, kana. y squared. This one. Okay. Now, scatter plot ato gaya po ng idro. So, 2.5 and 3.4. Possible na dira a. Ah. And so on. So, makita pa lang nato sa scatter plot nga positive gid ang iyahang relationship. Kita na awa, padulong nito, increasing gid siya. No? So, unsa ka strong ka ha ang iyahang linear relationship. Ani? So, isolve nato ang R. So, before ito makasolve sa R, atong isolve ang SXX, SYY, and SXY. So, substituting the values, katong atong nakuha ganina sa table, kanina nga table, Substitute na to, we have ang summation sa x squared is 106.72 minus summation sa x, you have 28.8 quantity squared over 8, so you have 3.4. Ang syy is equal to the summation of y squared minus summation of y quantity squared over n, which is equal to 362.25 minus 52.1 quantity squared over 8, so that is 22. 95. And ang SXY is equal to the summation of X times Y minus summation of X times summation of Y over N. So you have 195 minus, oh, 195.86 minus 28.8 times 52.1 all over 8. So that is 8.3. Substitute na rin nato sa tong formula nga. R is equal to SXY over square root of SXX times SYY. So, the answer is 0 0.994. Haman ng 0 0.994. 0 0.994. So, na asya diri. No? 0 0.994 na asya diri. So, na atay positive nga strong linear relationship. Okay, positive strong linear relationship. So, interpretation na to, ato will be okay. X and Y have positively strong linear relationship. So, that is as X increases, Y also increases. Okay. Questions? Okay, that's it for today. And that's it for the midterm topics. Managita sa midterm. Yes. 
um, sa upcoming long quiz, ma'am, since face-to-face man, ma'am, pwede may mag, ano, ma'am, take, take note lang sa formulas lang, ma'am. Dili, dili siya. Pwede lang ga, ah, uh, labi na sa exam. Dili, memorize on ganyan nyo. Kaya ang atong, kuan, wala pa ko ka-announce suod, ang atong, Long quiz for unit 4 or unit quiz will be online this coming uh, 80, uh, 28 karong Friday. So, that is for unit 4 only. Tana, online lang na siya. So, after that, karong 4, we will have uh, ato na siyang i-review. Unsay answer sa 28. Unsay answer ana karong 28 na no, mag-long quiz man mo online only. Tapos sa 4, atong i-review. Tapos sa uh, November 8, muna na atong face-to-face nga long quiz. Gikan chapter 1, padulong chapter 4. Unya, kay 21 pa man ang exam. So, face-to-face ihapon ta sa every Tuesday lang man ang ato ang atong schedule good sa room. So, every Tuesday na punta mag-meet. So, November 8, long quiz face-to-face. Tapos November 15, Atong i-review ang answers anang sa inyong long quiz nga sa November 8. So, sa 15, review lang ta na. So, 8, face-to-face nga long quiz. Sa November 15 is atong answeran inyong hang long quiz or mura na siya sort of review sa lessons from 1 to 4. Chapter 1 to 4. Okay. So, again, memorize soon ang formula. Dili siya ihata, ilista. Okay, so sa una, even sa una nga mga students, memorize ka nila ang formula. Patong face-to-face pa po, bisag long quiz, face-to-face sila, memorize ang formula. Dali na to siya memorize soon actually, kung inyo halang yung kung anon. Ang SXX kay summation of x squared minus summation of x quantity squared over n. Muna na ra. Summation ang SYY, summation of Y squared, minus summation of Y, quantity squared over N. Ang SXY, summation of X times Y, minus summation of X times summation of Y over N. Ano ra? Kira? Kato ramang B ang medyo lisod memorizon, pero kaya raga po na ninyo eh. Wala mong pwilain formula na memorizon sa unit 4 raman kasagaran ang naa. Okay? Napa? Napa clarifications? Hello? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Hazel. Ang zaman? Sa November 8 at tong long quiz face-to-face mo, no? Tapos, for October 28, long quiz lang na ninyo sa LMS. Sa Unit 4 only. Unit 4 lang na. Sa, how about sa mga mass participant, ma'am? Pemurag man larga mo. Ah, okay. Ka- Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Hatagan na mo na akong special exam, Ana. Okay, ma'am. Special Thank exam you. lang ninyo. Dili mo makatake sa November 4 online. Nga mang larga man mo, Ana, di ba? Maka-take, ma'am, sa face-to-face. Oh, online. Ang face-to-face ang, ang wala. So, ang akong ihatag lang sa inyo is yes. katong sa face-to-face nga kuan special exam. Itong mga mass participants. November, kano sa pagkakit mong kuan? November 4, uh, 12, November pa mo mabalik na? No? Mabalik? Yes, ma'am. November 12. So, while mag-review me, how be? So, 12. Kano sa mana? Tama na nga, adlaw. So, kana na lang kuan kay every Tuesday man mag-meet, no? So, kanang Friday is inyohan ng time para mag-review. So, Friday na lang mo kanang 14. Muanhin na lang mo sa school during our time. mo take na lang mo diri sa office or mga itatag room. Itong for mass participants. Okay, Kaya para makasabay ra mo sa atong review sa kuan ay November October man akong gitan-aw November 12 so mga sa 15 
15, mag-review naman may anak, no? So, earlier na lang anang 15. So, wala ko sa Monday. So, 14, wala ko. So, pwede ra mag-review man mi. So, di na lang mo mo appeal sa review. <laughs> sa man. Ay, mag-quiz mo. Pwede ra man ata, ma'am. Oh, pwede ra. Online ra man po, tigo. Ang review sa kuan yes, face to face na kanang 15. Face to face ang ang uh, quiz, face to face pud ang review kanang sa 8 ug sa 15. So bali ka duha ta mag-meet face to face before the exam. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sige, sige. Napa? Napay la in concern? Okay, murag wala na may meeting Sige. So, tignan na to do gayon. That's it for today. And again, dilita mag-meet sa Friday per mag-long quiz mo sa Friday online sa Unit 4. Okay? So, thank you so much. Yes? Na pa? Paro na ha. Yes, i-upload. Na ano, actually sa LMS ang ang koan ang PDF copy tapos si upload dapo na ako today ang recorded ng video actually na napo recorded ng video daan pwede po niyo to tan aon tapos recorded ng klase na ako today ako pong i send sa inyo ha as usual okay na pa na pa pangutana or na ako i end last na jumbo ah sige sige Angelica Kuan, ma'am. Uh, about sa room, gani, ma'am. Asa dapat na room mag-announce? Oh, mag-announce ra ko, anak, before, tama, di, before ang schedule. Kay, naman tayo designated nga room. Mm -mm, ako pang tanahon kung asa dapat. Thank you. Sige, sige. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, good morning. Kisa si Denny? Good morning, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just to clarify things lang, ma'am. Karon na Friday is ang lesson 4 na long quiz. Tapos, Daily November 4. Daily lesson 4, four, unit 4. Ah, unit 4 na long uh -oh. quiz. And then, November 4 is ang um, um, face-to-face. Daily review. Face -to -face. November 4, review, review sa unit 4. Uh, okay. November 8, face-to-face long quiz. Onya November fifteen review para sa tanan face to face long quiz sa tanan na na tapos review sa fifteen sa tanan okay thank you ma'am okay napa okay sige wala na yod sure na okay sa kung wala na that's it for today see you on November four Okay, so thank you. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.